We now have a very important announcement. Uh, it starts with uh, telling you that the board is here to elect the dean of our College of Engineering, uh, Dean Mung, the next president of Purdue University. His term will begin at the conclusion of Mitch's term, which is the end of this year, December 31st. The election um, uh, comes into effect for Dean Mung January 1st. Mitch started to share with the board several years ago thoughts about how long his term would last. And sometime last year, he indicated that he thought he would be uh, ready to conclude his term either at the end of the 2022 year or perhaps the uh, academic term, which would be next year, the 23 term. Um, and then in April, uh, following our board meeting, he informed the board that his decision was to retire at the end of this year. And that's when we uh, decided to make a verbal uh, award, or, or elect, a verbal election, if you will, to um, Dean Mung. And today we're here to formalize it by a, bo a board vote. We had an opportunity to observe a number of talented people in this university over the last five years. And it gave us a, a high level, a high degree of confidence in the selection of Mung as the follow-up to Mitch. We got to see him work. We got to see how he behaved. Really a benefit uh, to a body that's going to elect somebody that is, is unusual. We got to see firsthand, uh, almost for three to four to five years, um, his skill set. And it's ideally, ideally suited for where we are today. He's the dean of the largest college on our campus um, in a university that has 65% of its students STEM oriented. He's also in a sector that is uh, in, um, in, not only in the news, but in, in, in credible demand, which is the tech se sector. He knows a lot about it. In fact, he's a business person, um, has numerous patents in this field. He's connected incredibly well with uh, the ec economic development side of the university, including folks in the tech sector, some of which are interested in locating facilities or offices on the west end of campus. All of this is an advantage uh, to any president, but certainly the president of Purdue University. He will get uh, the other benefit of doing this uh, now. It provides both Mitch and uh, uh, Mung an opportunity to work together for six months in a transition period. Mung is stepping down as the Dean of the College of Engineering to allow uh, more time to focus on getting prepared for the presidency. He'll retain his role as the Executive Vice President of Research. He'll continue to play a part in recruiting uh, firms uh, to West Lafayette, and ideally, uh, maybe some even before the end of this year. Uh, and then come January 1st, he will uh, step into his role as uh, dean. You can see that one of the benefits of doing this is continuity. Continuity, the progress that we've made over the last 10 years, uh, which, is, which you have all had a front row seat to, uh, but also so has uh, many parts of the rest of the state, not only this nation. Purdue is now elevated into the first ranks of public universities. It's recognized in a way significantly different than it was uh, in 2013 when Mitch arrived. He's an incredible talent and uh, has benefited us and he'll benefit Mitch, I mean, among over the next uh, six months. So we're excited about that. And so now, based on all of this, as you can see now, Steve's looking on at me, I'd be pleased to entertain a motion that Meng Cheng be nominated nominated for election as the 13th president of Purdue University to succeed Mitchell E. Daniels upon his resignation becoming effective January 1st, 2023. May I have a motion and a second, please? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. And Don, if you can hear this, we'll get you separately. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Don? Aye. Okay. <laughs> it's unanimous, or no, opposed? It's unanimous, the motion carries. Congratulations, Dr. Murray. The chairman's asked me to say a word or two and then bring uh, your next president uh, uh, up here. I, I just want to uh, 
um, make two points that I hope are uh, obvious to you all, but just to underscore them. First about the board, then second about uh, uh, my successor. Uh, first of all, um, I don't know that uh, I can name another institution, nonprofit, for profit, or otherwise, whose uh, leadership, that is to say, these trustees, has approached the critical, the most critical job of any such board is succession, uh, the, the maintenance and hopefully the enhancement of, of uh, success for the institution. And um, I don't know that uh, uh, we can cite an, an example of anyone who's ever, any such group who's ever approached it more thoroughly, carefully, methodically, and thoughtfully than this one did. And you just got a flavor of that from, uh, from Mike's uh, report, but I just want to testify firsthand. They studied very, very carefully all their choices, internal, were fully prepared to look elsewhere if they did not identify someone who seemed absolutely ideal, but they did. This is a board that has its act together. And that, sad to say, cannot be said of all uh, their, their uh, contemporaries elsewhere in higher ed or, for that matter, in the business world. Um, and then about uh, Dr. Shang. Uh, I felt on the day that uh, he agreed to come to Purdue, I, from that day forward, I have said, uh, you know, that uh, Bobinski will never recruit a five star that uh, is, 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 is going to contribute as much to Purdue uh, as. Uh, as this man's likely to, and that, that's proven true. Uh, his, uh, Purdue has never, in, in, in all my illustrious predecessors, you won't find one with academic credentials that, that match, let alone surpass Mung's. Nor will you, I think, find anyone, or imagine anyone, who fits the Purdue of today. Mike, I think, gave you a, a good description of that. And it's future uh, uh, better than Dr. Shang does. In, in multiple dimensions. First and most important, of course, academic leadership and to take us further and further and further upward in national uh, reputation and renown and uh, attractiveness to the brightest minds in the world. But it doesn't stop there. We've, we've tried to map out other missions for this university, becoming an economic engine for uh, uh, first as a service to community, but also out of self-interest to try to make this a more uh, a place of greater opportunity for our students and their futures, uh, for our researchers, our academic stars to um, to attract uh, new sponsored research, and frankly to uh, make of of our area a more attractive um, uh, environment. An exciting environment for the for people to uh, to join us in. He's been, as his role, role was expanded very intentionally, uh, he's been a huge contributor to that. And I can't wait to see what a high tech world, how a high tech world increasingly beats its, uh, makes its path to uh, to uh, the environment uh, around Purdue. Um, he had a, he spent a year. Um, while keeping his finger on his business here, he somehow managed to spend a year in national service at the highest national level. Again, uh, not just validating our uh, sense of his abilities, but uh, I think seeing things, learning things, growing in uh, uh, ways, and making new connections that will be very valuable t to this university going forward. And I, I could go further, but I hope you're getting the sense uh, that I think you should have that um, we have here a person uniquely um, qualified to capitalize on the investments that we have made over the last decade, hundreds of millions of dollars in uh, new people and facilities and connections and partnerships that I, to which I think his skill set um, is, uh, is so ideally suited. And so to the board who um, approached their single biggest duty, in the most professional way I have ever seen, and to the outcome that has produced, and to the man who will now, I promise you, um, uh, take Purdue to uh, places that uh, no one else uh, could, uh, I say, I, I pay tribute and say thanks, and I give you now the next president of Purdue, Dr. Meng Shen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chairman Burghoff, President Daniels, trustees, students, colleagues, and friends, 
It is the highest and most humbling honor to be selected by the Board of Trustees as the next president of Purdue University. The unique and most remarkable land-grant institution in the land of the free. Throughout the past 153 years, and spanning from Wabash River to the moon, generations of border makers contributed to our state, to our country, and to humanity in immeasurable ways. There's no other place like Purdue. And there's no other university leader like ours. President Daniels and the outstanding team built Purdue into the most consequential public university in the United States. Under Mitch's transformational leadership, our university attained the strongest academic reputation from record-breaking enrollment to all-time high research excellence from the ever true campaign to the transformed campus. Purdue led the country in safely reopening during the pandemic, and its financial foundation is fortified stronger than ever before. But there's even more. Mitch is also the most innovative president in America. Affordability through tuition freeze, 21st century land grant through Purdue Global, and economic growth in Indiana through entrepreneurship and the Discovery Park District here in West Lafayette. The amazing success of the Daniels decade must continue. While my family and I are blessed with the pride of gold and black, I'm also humbled by a daunting task to ensure the continuity of today's momentum into the next giant leaps. I've had the privilege to be a part of the Purdue team over the past five years and to grow the range of service as an EVP for strategic initiatives. But there's much more that I need to keep learning like a student from all of you. And I know that in the next seven months and beyond, my responsibilities start with listening to our students, faculty, staff, alumni, neighbors, to state, national, and global partners, and to all friends and families of Purdue. New Armstrong said, knowledge is fundamental to all human achievement and progress. Indeed, a university creates a time when lives are lifted by student access and success. My own life was lifted out of scarcity because of education. A university preserves a place for all minds in pursuit of open inquiry. And I'm ever grateful for the honor to dedicate myself in service of the talents at our university. As an immigrant, living the American dream, and as a citizen of this greatest nation in human history, I'm also proud to serve in higher education as I did in the U.S. State Department, the best hope for freedom and opportunity in the shining city on the hill. Opportunities and challenges are intensifying for American higher education from the modality and value of learning to what we do with R&D investment by the government and private sector. We are confident that the entire Purdue system across all campuses and all units will innovate together and excel together, one brick at a time, toward boundless future in the broader maker future. Hail our Purdue, and thank you so much.